we wish to use this data as an example of exponential decay. It is in fact the radioactive count rate n as a function of time t and we wish to fit a nonlinear exponential curve to this data and so we will choose stat regression nonlinear regression the response in this case is the count n and in this box we have to enter the mathematical expression for the exponential decay and we can do this in three ways we could use the catalog of possible formula for example for exponential it gives it as one constant theta exponential another constant theta times the variable x which in this case would be the variable t or we can use the calculator to enter an expression by using one of the many functions that are available or else we can enter the expression directly in this box so we will enter the first constant a and this multiplied by the function exp for the exponential open brackets the second constant b and this will be multiplied by our variable time t close brackets the next thing is to enter the starting values for the parameters a and b so we will choose to start a with a value of 50 and b with a value of minus because it is an exponential decay 0 0.5 and we click OK and then we run the analysis OK. Minitab carries out an iterative analysis to derive the best fit values for A and B and the results are stored in the session window. We can see that it has recorded the starting values of A and B as 50 and minus 0.5 and it gives the final derived best fit equation as n is equal to the value of A 97.86 times exponential minus the derived final value of B as minus 0.476 times the time t. It also lists these best fit final values of A and B together with the standard error in, in these estimates. And then it shows in the summary the number of iterations that were required to reach the final value and this is given as six iterations.